getting out of town on the AT. There's the white place on the light pole. Getting ready to cross the Delaware River. some miles of road walking but that's probably the mountain we're going over that one or over here I think it may be this one we're gonna turn and go under the highway going under the highway Looks like we turn and go back the way we came down here as soon as it's safe. It looks like it's safe. at 6 30 23 that was what, two days three days ago three days ago so this is current we're headed down here new jersey is famous for having a lot of bears so there's hope we'll see another one out here somewhere a nice one not one that is obnoxious and bad mannered it's just one running away This is beautiful through here. Got out of town late, it's afternoon. I had breakfast and I had tried to charge my phone during the night. <laughs> had it all plugged in, ready to go this morning, I thought. And it was at 0% battery charge. Apparently I hadn't plugged it in right. And so it had not charged all night and the battery had actually run down to zero. So I had to wait for my battery to charge. So it's a late start. I've got new shoes. So I'm trying them out to see how they do. They're, I have had the uh, mid Solomon Speed Goat and they are wonderful but i couldn't get those they were the twos i wasn't able to find any of those for sale because they're that's an old model so i went to the outfitter in town and they had solomon's and i have used solomon's before not this exact model but i liked them so i'm checking them out seeing how they did they were on sale they were clearing them out a discontinued model so I'll try them out. If they're not comfortable, I can get my speed goats sent to me. The ones that I have at home, I do have another pair at home. They're not the mids, they're not the twos, they're the newer speed goat trail runners. I already see one. We 
have about a three mile mountain climb today. Coming out of town as always. <laughs> First mountain climb in New Jersey though. Already fewer rocks, but I've heard they get bad again for a little ways. But so far this mountain climb isn't bad. There's just a few, much easier than what we've had anyway. And it's only like a thousand foot, 1500 foot, something like that. So it's not a huge mountain climb. So, so far it's been steep in like a couple places, but not super steep. Shouldn't be too bad. Good test for the new shoes. So far they feel pretty comfy. We'll see how they do today. I'll, I'm pr planning on taking it pretty easy and kind of breaking them in a little bit. Maybe going eight miles. I'll do more if I feel like it, but we'll see how they do. Here is our first water source, dry as a boon. No water there. See this? It's dirt. It is dirt. It is a trail with no rocks. Wow. Loving it. Loving it. We have some rocks, but they're steps. So they're a little better. It is hot today. It is in the mid 80s. And there's not much of a breeze blowing. It's really still and really humid because it's been raining. So it is hot, hot. Aha, look at this. 1,300 miles. That's a big milestone. Literally, milestones. <laughs> That's crazy that I did that. We're gonna go past Sunfish Pond, a real beautiful pond, and it has a rattlesnake refuge or rattlesnake conservation area. I don't know what they call them. But anyway, it's where rattlesnakes live. And they don't always know where to stay, that they're supposed to stay in the refuge area. So when we go around the pond, we might see one. Because the AT is on one side, and I think the rattlesnake area is on the other side of the pond. So you do see rattlesnakes in the area pretty often. So that could be exciting. And the pond should be beautiful. And we did the 1,300 mile mark today. That just seems like so many miles to walk. It, I don't know. It's just a huge number to me. And I'm just thrilled that I made it this far. There's a few more rocks up here as we're increasing in elevation. So we're not completely out of them yet, but today has been easier than usual already for sure just hotter than usual too and these rocks aren't bad they're smooth we did get some more rocks I'm about six miles in or so, getting close to the lake or the pond, Sunfish Pond. We're here at Sunfish Pond Natural Area. Sunfish Pond is a 41-acre glacial pond. It's one of the seven natural wonders of New Jersey. Due to its natural acidic composition, only a few hardy species of fish, such as pumpkin seed sunfish and yellow perch, can survive. This is so beautiful.
These little flowers, if you feel them, they feel like mushrooms. I've never seen them before. A lot of rocks around this pond. To climb over and watch for rattlesnakes in. But wow, this is just unlike anything I have seen on the AT so far. It's just gorgeous. Those rocks are the trail right alongside the pond. So beautiful. We're away from the pond now. Just cruising along on a little tiny trail. There's a few rocks. It's a little rough, but not terrible. We've been through worse, right? <laughs> Still watching for rattlesnakes. And copperheads. Haven't seen any yet. There's the Delaware River down there, I think. A little view from up here. Just gorgeous. This trail doesn't look very used to here with all the grass growing in it. I was like, am I in the right spot? Is this actually the trail? But nope, there are the white blazes. This is where I'm going to get water. There's a little bit of a view over here. And on the other side, it looks like there's another view too. This is Raccoon Ridge that I'm going up on. Oh, wow. This is unreal. It's like a 360 degree view. This is just beautiful up here.
looks like a good campsite.